Hi guys, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. Today I am so excited because this is the thing that I've been waiting for in League for like the past six months or plus. Like ever since they announced the Syndra rework, I've been excited for this because they announced it at the same time. But you guys saw the thumbnail, you guys saw the title, you saw everything. We're playing the Nico rework now on PvE. It just got put up like literally 30 minutes ago or something. I'm actually filming this video live. So everyone on stream, say hi to YouTube. And if you guys want to see my stream live, I start almost every day at 11 a.m. Eastern time. Please check the links down in the description. Join my Discord, all that kind of stuff if you'd like to. And leave a thumbs up if you like Nico. Um, yeah, so let's talk about the changes. So Nico got reworked on PvE. All of her abilities are changed. The biggest changes are to her passive, her W, and her ult. I'll go through all abilities though. So, Nico not only could transform into her allies now, she could also transform into anything so long as it's neutral on your team and clickable, other than Dragon, Baron, and Turret. So, you're gonna see, actually, I'll do it right here. So, I could transform into. Look at this. Can I take the Shoma already? Hold on, I'm trying to see. Give me a second, guys. Okay, so when I'm standing near something, I absorb its Shoma, and then I could transform into it. So, I'm a melee minion now. This is the best thing I've ever seen in my life. I actually went on a practice tool and tried some things out so I can, like, you know, show you guys better. But this is very cool. So, another big thing that you probably noticed right there is that Nico no longer breaks her stealth if she's hit. She has to be either CC'd or break the stealth herself um, in order for it to go on cooldown. Look at that, we even tricked Kale. He thought that it was it was a minion the whole time. But, 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 yes, yeah, so, uh, I could transform into almost anything. You could transform into jungle plants, you could transform into, uh, you know, jungle monsters. It's crazy. I also noticed right here, they added some new particle effects to my Q ability. And, oh my god, uh, Sibilarium, thank you so much for the Prime Gaming. Thank you. So, the second... Uh, biggest change they did was to her W. So Nico can now recast her W as many times as she wants to make it look like, you know, to move it manually. So you can move the clone kind of like how you can move Tibbers or a Shaco ult, which is really crazy. And not only that, the clone will mimic whatever animations you do. So if you laugh, if you joke, if you recall, the clone copies that same animation. So you could send your clone out. I'll do it here at some point. Sorry, guys. Information overload right now, but Look, I could send my clone out, move it around a little bit, then recall, and the clone will stay recalling it. And you can, like, trick people that way. It's really crazy. Like, what is this? What is this? What is this? Oh, also, wait. That rule looks like it did nothing. Did they nerf that? So, as for her damage, um, they nerfed the, the base damage on both her Q and her E, but they increased the ratio of it to make up for it slightly. So... Uh, early game, she's going to be dealing slightly less damage, but later on in the game, the damage is probably going to be better than it, what it used to be. Um, so that's basically all they did to both her Q and her E. Um, other than that, they're the same. I don't think they increased the size of her Q. No, I don't think they did that. Um, her E also, you know, the root duration is the same. I'll actually mouse over my abilities holding shift so you guys can pause and look at them if you want to see. And the uh, last biggest change is to her ult. So... This is kind of crazy how I can now move that. It's so weird. Um, so her ult now, instead of getting a shield when she jumps up, it now knocks enemies up. So you knock enemies up when you're jumping up. Oh, wait, can I kill her here? Maybe. Oh, so close. So you knock enemies up when you jump up. You don't get a shield anymore. And then you plop down and you deal damage with your ult. So very cool. It makes your ult uh, more usable. They also increase the cooldown of her ult, though. And they increase the... Uh, they lowered the damage of it, so it's dealing less damage, but it's a lot more use or usable. Okay, I would love to transform. Okay, yeah, that brings me to another point. So, and Jack, thank Hi, you so Eric much for the eight months. Y. Thank you, Jack. Love the new Nico changes. It makes even more fun to play it. I know she's so fun with these changes. It's like really, really fun. My Q does feel like it's a little bit bigger. It's weird. I d the indicator doesn't look like it's bigger, but when I cast it, it does look bigger. And they added some new particle effects to it too. I think. But as I was saying. Um, yeah, so when you transform, whatever you get the Shoma of, you have to manually click right here to get rid of it in order to get something new. So right now I have like a, a caster minion that I could transform into. So I could transform into it. Look at this. <laughs> this is so funny. Like, oh, that's weird. I didn't know there were four caster minions in the wave. 
And you can even auto attack as the minion and everything. And then you can just go like this, move it around a little bit, and then ba, and try to attack. Yeah, this Q. Oh, little bit. What the heck? Thank you for the twenty dollars. Nico Nico Ni. Thank you so much, little bit. This is the most Nico Nico Ni I've ever done. Yeah, they definitely buffed this Q size. Like, look at this. Like, something about it looks bigger. Let me know in the comments if I'm right or if I'm wrong. Yeah, being able to control your W is really, 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 really big. Okay, so I want to actually become a cannon minion now. So let's get rid of this one. Stand by the cannon minion. And then let's transform as it. Oh, that's not the cannon minion. This is the cannon minion. So, yeah, you can literally be all these things and you could make another clone of them. You could recall as cannon minion and then have cannon minion recalling in the middle of your lane. It's, uh... It's pretty nuts. So I'm going to start roaming here soon. Not only can you transform, though, into, you know, all the things that I mentioned earlier, you can also transform into things like Teemo's mushrooms. Look, the jungle plant here. I'll transform into Nico. And if you transform into something while next to it, you jump up and you kind of go into it there. So <laughs> this is this is a, a beautiful sight. Um, and actually, I think you could transform into wards as well. Oh my god, I forgot about that. Yeah, I could transform as wards too. So let me just gank Botlane as a ward. <laughs> it's so weird. Uh, I'm gonna see if I can ult here too. Look, so my ult knocks up, knocks down. Also, if my voice sounds different, which I know it does, I feel kind of sick right now. I just, I came back from vacation, I went to the Aero store, it was the best thing I've ever seen in my life. Um, but my voice is like shot and I feel like I'm getting sick. So, bear with me. Uh, did the pink disable my vision? No. Don't say it so. Wait, I think you're right, Maz. I'm gonna be going for Rocket Belt here for my Mythic item. Um, my voice is dying, I apologize. But, um, yeah, I think because... That's so weird. Okay, wait. I transformed into a ward, and I transformed into a ward so authentically that a control ward broke my vision. So you can counter Nico when she transforms as a ward by putting down a pink ward. That's kind of next level. So another thing I want to mention too about this rework is that both her Q and her W now deal extra damage to jungle monsters. So uh, I remember when Nico came out, a lot of people wanted to make her a jungler and like really tried hard to make her a jungler. And they won because they kind of probably made Nico a good jungler now with these changes, or at least a viable jungler, which kind of makes sense thematically, and especially now given like the new abilities to counter jungle and whatnot. Um, so if you want to see a video of Nico jungle, let me know in the comments if you want to see one of those. You could also transform as buffs. So look here. So you can move the W clone, send her to recall in the river here. She does your animation. I'm going to transform as blue buff. Because why not? Who doesn't want to be a blue buff? Oh, actually, wait. I want to be a Teemo mushroom. Hold on, let's go gank Senna as blue buff. We're ganking as blue buff. Okay, wait a second. Okay. Oh no. Oh no. I'm dead too. Okay, at least we got her. Yeah, but you could do stuff like that now. You could transform as blue buff, gank as blue buff. I want to go top lane and pick up Teemo mushrooms to transform into at some point. Um, I will soon. You can do that. And it's very weird. I wonder if a pink ward would actually disable my vision as a Teemo mushroom too. Probably. I'm going to wait for my boots here. And that's kind of what they did to Nico. So... Uh, you might be asking, like, oh, like, these don't actually help Nico. Like, what does this do? Like, it's not like they're giving her just flat damage, right? But I think these changes give her a lot more usability. That's, like, my word of, like, the day. I've been saying it so much on my stream. I'm probably, like, annoying everyone. But really, though, like, being able to transform as something and not worry about untransforming if you take, like, one Zeri pellet of damage, it's pretty nice. Um, being able to transform as anything. And thanks to the follow cry pen. Oh, wait a second. Oh, I already got the ward.
<laughs> Which one's the real one? Yeah, being able to transform into all these things and actually be able to use it is pretty fun. Oh no, how dead am I though? I'm very dead. If you notice there too, they also changed Kale. So Kale, uh, you know, her ult is now is the size of her auto attack range. She got pretty big buffs. Um, so that's interesting. If you want to see a video on that, let me know too. Oh wait, that's a good idea. Wait, that's a good idea. If I transform as a control ward, will I actually get rid of their vision? Dude, I love Taylor Swift. Duder, do you like Taylor? Um, Nico's keybinds, I'm still trying to get used to it. They feel kind of similar to before, but this new keybind is kind of weird. So wait a second, let's try something here. I want to transform as my pink word. Here, let's get my control word. Wait, if Nico can actually... Wait, if I could transform as a control word and be a moving control word permanently, that's pretty broken. Oh, it even copies the animation of like my Q and stuff, the Nico clone. Wow. I feel like this is like what they wanted Nico to be on release, but they didn't have like the technology to do it. That's what it feels like to me, which is great. I feel like that's how mid scope should be. So let's try transforming as this control word here. I want to find a ward. Like, how can I test this? I don't know how I can test that. I will at some point. Yeah, you're very slow when you transform a certain things. Okay. <laughs> it's so weird. It's so wonky. Ow. Hold on. Let's see what I can do here. Let's see what I can do right here. <laughs> Which one am I? You could play like really good mind games with this though. Like you could play mind games, like you could be one of these three caster minions or whatever, and they're not gonna know which one you are of the group. Let's go gank bot lane as like a melee minion really quickly. Hold on. Oh no, do I knock her up though? Okay, yeah, wow. Okay, well, my one, my ult looks like it does no damage. Do I zap and kill? Am I dead? Uh, no, no way. That exhaust is so annoying. Okay, so I'm noticing too, my ult is dealing a lot less damage. Like, for sure. It's very noticeable, the, the lack of damage that I have with my ult now. But now I have Rocket Belt, which will fix all my problems, right? Yes, the clones time out after three seconds like they used to, or if you do like recall, it's after the animation. So honestly, I feel like what would be optimal to do is just send your clone out and then right at the end of the three seconds, you just, you recall. So your clone lasts even longer. So like, look, if I do like this, you know, Lulu's chilling out three seconds, then I recall at the end, Lulu's going to last like 10 seconds in total. That's really like that is OP. Like that, being able to bait recalls like that is like crazy. Let's see if I can go bot lane and get it here. Let's see, Lulu. Now recall in the bush, Lulu. A lot of mind games you can do with this thing. So like I mentioned, they did increase my scaling slightly, so I should scale a little bit better into the late game. I think one of my biggest problems with Nico was that she just felt like she fell off so quickly. But hopefully they address that with this update. With those like small tweaks to her ratios. So let's get the Shoma. And let's become a cannon minion. So I've noticed too that you kind of keep the same attack animations as whatever you transformed into. So sometimes it's like, if you're like Gromp, she has like a super long attack animation and stuff. Oh, we gotta go help kill here. Let's do some tricks here. So, I don't know if I mentioned it earlier, but they also lowered the cooldown. They lowered the cooldown of my passive, so 
Uh, it's only six second cooldown at each rank now, which is not bad at all. Little, a uh, little poke. Yeah, did we get vision of something? If I, is there a pink word to transform into? Yeah, this is PVE right now. Um, if you send a clone to dance, that's a good question. Let's try it. I would think it would only go through one loop of the dance, but let's see. Yeah, the, the dance only goes through one, like, cycle of it. So let's go gank bot lane again, but this time a scuttle crab. Oh, actually, no, I can't transform into enemy stuff. So I'd love to be scuttle crab. Oh. Send my clone after here. Being able to move the clone is so nice. Okay, I'm scuttle crab now. Oh, maybe they're gonna fall for this. Oh my god, guys, they fell for it. Oh, I still think I'm dead though. Okay, they fell for it, but I'm still dead. Wow, the ult damage is so bad now. Like the ult damage that needs to be buffed. Hi, Taylor. Oh no, it's really fun. It's really fun, but I'm noticing the issues is her damage. Her damage is very bad. I'm not sure, Daniel, if they increase the Q. I, I'm like trying to figure that out too. No, the damage is is not is not giving. I'll say that. But the trickery is. So that exhaust though is what's annoying too or scary is that kill is gonna scale. But it's important to, you know, take the good with the bad too. Like, you know, recognize that there's also some bad sides to this. And I feel like Nico already, I don't think they nerfed the on hit of her passive. I think they kept that the same, actually. Um, you have to Giga Brain, but it's like weird Giga Brain. Like, I feel like they could make her ult deal a little bit more damage. I don't think she has ult. This might actually be good. Kill! Okay, perfect. Perfect. Yes, Nico could transform into minions now. I could even transform into wards. Like, look at this. I'm a ward. Guys, how to scare Evelyn transforms as, as a pink ward. Ooh, hopefully we can get her here. She's going to go invis, though, in a second. Okay, I hit her. Okay, let's see. She might have gone up here. Okay, no, there she is. Okay, let, let me transform as this pink ward or get this pink ward. I'm trying to chest or test some stuff out too. Let's I'm gonna get this pink ward Shoma. And then I'm gonna use it. Maybe in this wish there'd be a ward, I would think. Let's see. Oh, that's not the pink ward. I'm curious if this works. Like very curious if this works. Okay, well, she got level 11. Kind of spooky. And Paranoid, thank you so much for the two entire years. Thank, thank you, Paranoid. Such a great streamer. Uh, please, thank you, Paranoid, for being... Paranoid. <laughs> for being Paranoid for, for two years. Yeah, my Q feels so much bigger. It's like hard to like put my finger on it, but it feels bigger. Alright, let's uh let's go bot lane. Let's go bot lane as a minion. Hold on. This is my true guys, this is my moment. My moment to shine. Hi Lorenzo. Oh wait, this is my other moment to shine. We're going this way. Hold on. Okay. I don't think it's going to work. I would think you could become Daisy and Tibbers. Yes. Okay, cool. So if you saw right there... Oh no, this is like the scary part though. Oh, at least I got her too. Yeah, so you could flash ult and get the knock up immediately. I think that that gives her even more utility, like in fights and stuff. But 
Yeah, as for her actual, like, solo kill potential, it's gone down noticeably. Soldier, thank you for the 30 months. Thank you, soldier. And hello. Thank OMG you, thank you. Hi, yes, the Nico rework. I've died a lot this game. I'm sorry. I'm just, I'm trying to meme out. But let me go top lane next and transform as a, as a Teemo mushroom. Uh, you cannot, Adam. You can't transform into Baron, Herald, or Dragon. Or turrets. Can't do those. This is PvE. This is not on live servers yet. But it should be in like, uh, two weeks, Lorenzo. Uh, they took that out, actually, PME, so I'm gonna transform into the wolf here. If the- before how Nico used to work- okay, well, they're dead, but- Nico used to be able to copy the base movement speed and attack speed ratio of champions, but she can't do that anymore. So she- yeah, the maximum movement speed she can keep is that of her, you know, her normal self. So look, I could transform into a Scrying Bloom, and then I'm a lot slower. Let's transform into a Teemo Shroom. This should work. Should work any second now, right? I saw it- yeah, here we go. All right, I'm a Teemo Shroom now, and I'm even in his skin. Wait, this is actually kind of cute. Okay, let's go help my team. My team needs help. I'm memeing out a little bit too hard. Okay. You cannot transform into enemy anything. Unfortunately. She's kind of tanky, though. Hold on, let's do some trickery here. Kind of worked. Oh god. Okay, I wish I had the Shoma of something right here. Oh, wait a second. Oh no. Okay, hold on. We're gonna have to do some real trickery here. Are they gonna believe this? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. I probably should have just killed Seraphine. Knock up, knock down, kill. Oh, goodbye life. Goodbye my life. Okay, I'm going Shadow Flame for my second item too. Really though, it is a lot. It is like playing Gary's mod for real. Yeah, it kind of sucks that you have to, I mean, it makes sense from a balance perspective, but you have to, like, stand by the thing for a decent amount of time to get it Shoma and then be able to transform into it, so it's kind of difficult to run away. Ooh, wait, this could be good. Go, Poopy! Go, Luki! You're too good! Okay, that was really good. Yeah, it is kind of insane. Oh, yeah, you should be able to transform into Shaco clone as well, yeah. Very weird. Let's get Blast Clone Shoma. Yeah, I'd imagine it's still pretty buggy, too. Like, there's no pictures for a lot of these things. I wonder if they're gonna add pictures. Yeah, like hide and seek game mode's true with this rework is gonna be like so much more fun. Alright, let's transform. What do I have? Blast cone, I think. Yeah, I wanna be a blast cone, but like how can I be a believable blast cone right here? I don't think I can. Oh, Oh, so when I become Blast Cone, oh wait, I'm still slow as Poppy. Okay, there we go. Back to normal. Kind of normal. Okay. Okay, I hit someone with the E. Oh wait, let's get the pink word. Oh wait, I could transform as control word now. And, oh, Mishi, thank you for the raid. Thank you, thank you. Okay. Monka, get me out of there. Okay, 
Okay, let's transform here. Okay, I'm gonna have to do some ults. Some ultery. Oh, big ult. Okay, wait. Okay, I mean, honestly, pretty good. Yeah, you could transform into almost anything. Very insane. Very, very insane. Like, craziest thing ever. They might be going to Baron now, which is kind of annoying. Kale's gonna get level 16 and then it's gonna be a pain in the butt more than it already is. So the enemies remain stunned for a total of 1.25 seconds. So I'm not sure if that means that they are not, like the whole CC duration is, is that time that they're saying, but yeah, I don't know. Or if that's just after they get, they get knocked up, I'm not sure. Okay, okay. It is really fun. It's very overwhelming. Okay, let's get Teemo Mushroom. <laughs> it's knockup plus. Okay. Uh, you cannot attack as a ward. I don't think I can attack as a Teemo Mushroom either. Yeah, you. There's certain things you can't attack as, which is kind of kind of lame. But I guess it makes sense they don't have auto attack animations. So you could split push as a minion like this. Wait, this actually might work. Oh my god, hold up. It kind of worked too, that's the funny part. It kind of worked, thank you, Poopy. Okay, I already see where, where I where I like this. I would love to get her ult if I can. Like, I could walk as a minion with the wave. Okay. You could hold- wait, this is- you could also hold waves with your recall too. Wait, there's some- guys, there's gonna be some Nico technology with this. Like, you can go like this, send your clone out, recall, and then the clone will just hold the wave for like seven seconds. I really do not want to die here though, I should probably go back. Spooky. Yeah, one for all Nikos. One for all Nico hide and seek. That's what needs to happen here. Okay. Oh my god, that Seraphine heal though. Knock up, knock down. Oh, AoE or something. Oh no, so close. Oh goodness. Goodness, goodness. Imagine doing backdoor. Yeah, becoming a minion with the wave and then doing it. Yeah. It's pretty funny. Yeah, that game was just kind of memeing out though. GG's. Um, if I post this to YouTube, thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think about the Nico rework down in the comments. And I will see you guys in the next video.